So Samsung has clearly decided to take a wee break from launching shag loads of new smartphones and instead it's pumping out a couple of skinny laptops. And the most premium of its new 2021 notebook lineup is this here Galaxy Book Pro 360 which can transform with just a quick twist from a laptop into a bloody massive tablet complete with full S Pen support. But the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 ain't exactly cheap. This surprisingly slender wee bugger will cost you at least 1,200 quid, depending on which configuration you want to go for. So the question is, is it actually worth that cash, or should you be looking at an alternative like the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 or Microsoft Surface Pro? Well, I've been using it for the last couple of weeks, even took it on holiday with me, and here's my full in-depth Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 review. And for more on the latest greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! However, before we begin, just a quick note, this is the 15.6 inch version of the Galaxy Book Pro 360, however you can also snaffle it in a 13.3 inch flavour if this just seems a bit too much to handle. However, every time I've checked the Samsung website ever since the laptop was launched, the 13.3 inch model has not been available, don't know if that's down to supply issues or what, so we're just going to stick with the 15.6 inch for now anyway, I'll base my entire review on that. Now the 15 inch model that I've been carting around the place weighs just 1.39 kilos and measures 11.9 millimeters at its thickest point. So I've had absolutely bugger all trouble slipping it into a backpack and it definitely hasn't been weighing me down. And that said, it is a decidedly wide laptop so you will need quite a tall backpack in order to accommodate it. Any compact ones ain't gonna cut it. And the Galaxy Book Pro 360 rocks up a straight up aluminium finish as well, available in two different colours, either Mystic Silver or this here Mystic Navy. Not exactly sure what's particularly mystic about it, uh, but it looks rather neat. And the great news as well, because this ain't a cheap laptop, you don't want it breaking within minutes of getting the bloody thing. Well, it's military standard 810G certified, which means it can handle all kinds of drops, vibrations, extreme temperatures, even a little bit of sea spray action. And even though, yes, I was at a beach this week, I wasn't sat there with a hanky over my head, checking my emails just inches away from the frothy brine. Wasn't quite that brave, got to admit. But I certainly did get banged around quite a bit in my uh, my backpack and just with everyday use, even that my six-year-old, I have a bit of a garnet as well with her usual heavy mashing, shall we say, of the buttons and seemed to come out of all that unscathed. In fact, there's not a single scratch or chip or anything anywhere on that aluminium chassis, which is great to see, although that surface and does get rather greasy, so you'll definitely want to keep one of these wee cloth jobbies handy to give it a bit of a buffing, although it does take quite a bit of buffing, those grease marks do not want to shift. As for ports, well the Galaxy Book Pro 360 sports a micro SD memory card slot, not full sized SD sadly, which would have been handy for creative users who want to just copy things directly off cameras for instance. On top of that you've got three USB-C ports, one of which is Thunderbolt 4 certified, but you've got no full sized USB-A action here and no HDMI. Those are just typical sacrifices for that slender chassis. Now Samsung usually nails its laptop keyboards and the Galaxy Book Pro 360 is certainly no exception. As you can see there, that board stretches the full width of the chassis. You've even got room here on the right edge for a dedicated numeric pad. Although sadly there's bugger all separation between the numeric pad and the rest of the keyboard which meant that when I was touch typing, if I was aiming for the enter key or the backspace key, quite often I'd miss hit one of the others instead. Still, that little grumble aside, the Pro 360's keyboard is great to type on for long stretches with a super quiet typing action thanks to Samsung's scissor mechanism. That may sound filthy, but it means a firm finish and no noise. You've got full backlighting support here, of course, as you would expect, so you can work well into the wee hours nice and comfortably, and you've also got a fingerprint sensor built into that power button, so just a quick tap of your digit and you'll be straight in. And yeah, I did occasionally find during testing that I'd be poking and prodding at that fingerprint sensor and it wouldn't do anything at all, but 9 times out of 10 it worked a charm. As for that touchpad, well, it is a proper wide boy. Once again, Samsung has made full use of the available space, so it basically stretches the entire depth of the palm rest, and it doesn't suck. It's really, really responsive, you've got full multi-touch gesture, just works exactly how you'd expect. As for the Wii camera housed up top, well it's your basic bog standard 720p webcam which you get on pretty much every single laptop going these days, absolutely fine for your video chats and whatnot. You've also got a dual array microphone setup as well which again is fine for your video chats but I'd always recommend connecting a headset for the good quality audio. And sadly there's no kind of shield that can slide across that camera to uh, give you complete privacy when needed but at least when the camera is in use you do get this little dinky LED flashing on alongside it so it's quite obvious does draw your attention whenever something is using that camera. And to be honest, I'm impressed that Samsung even found room up here for that webcam because that 15.6 inch display here on the Galaxy Book Pro 360 is surrounded by some of the tiniest bezels I've seen on any laptop. 
And this AMOLED display really is a bit of a stunner, especially for movie playback and online gaming thanks to the widescreen finish. And Samsung's panel is VESA Display HDR500 certified. What that basically means is that the Video Electronic Standard Association has approved of the colour and contrast performance here. And I've got to say, yeah, for me, it's a hard agree. The Galaxy Book Pro 360 boasts seriously impressive colour accuracy, as you would expect from Samsung, covering off the full sRGB gamut and 96% of that Adobe RGB gamut too. The Full HD Plus resolution keeps visuals sharp, certainly more than enough detail packed in there for editing your pics, for watching movies, playing games, all that good stuff. And you'll also enjoy a nice sharp contrast as well, although I've got to say the Galaxy Book Pro 360 screen tops off at just over 300 nits on that maximum brightness which is particularly weak compared with some rivals and also you don't get a proper anti-glare coating or anything so outdoor use is a bit tricky especially when the sun starts to shine. Still the 360 degree hinge means that you can prop the Galaxy Book Pro 360 in tent mode and relax with the movie using just a small bit of surface action. And yeah you can also convert the book into a full-on tablet albeit a rather big tablet that is best sat on a desk or a table because even though this thing is quite light for a laptop it's certainly a lot more bloody heavy than an iPad. Now the Galaxy Book Pro 360 won't automatically enter Windows tablet mode you will actually have to manually do that yourself but at least when you do flip the keyboard around a full 360 uh, you do get auto rotation activating by default so the uh, screen will switch to match whatever rotation it is in and thankfully that keyboard is fully disabled as well so you won't accidentally be mashing buttons and fudging everything up. And because of the conversion factor, the Galaxy Book Pro 360 is the only one of Samsung's new Galaxy Book laptops to sport a touchscreen. And I found out my test and that touchscreen works absolutely fine. It's not the most responsive around, but it'll do the job in a pinch. Speaking of pinches, you've got the multi-touch gestures and all of that. And you also get one of Samsung's S Pen styluses bundled in the box with the Galaxy Book Pro 362. Although sadly, there's no orifice action anywhere on this laptop in order to stash away the S Pen when it's not in use. Although to be fair, the S Pen stylus is actually thicker than the lid and the lower half so I'm not really sure how that would work anyway. As for your audio well that's pumped out of a stereo speaker setup with Dolby Atmos support and on top volume this laptop will spaff out some powerful and crystal clear sound despite the speaker grills being shunted away underneath. Now storage wise you've got up to 512 gigs of internal storage based on an NVMe SSD although it is far from the nippiest that I've tested at this sort of price point. We're talking just over 2 gigabits per second read speeds and a little over 1 gigabit per second write speeds and I've seen double that from similar devices. As for your networking well it's Wi-Fi 6E compatible but that's your whack here on the Galaxy Book Pro 360 this model does not have any form of LTE or 5G support. You've got loads of bonus Samsung security features tossed on here including that privacy shade so bystanders can't have a gander or whatever dodgy shenanigans you're up to. And you've got tons of other Samsung software on here as well including like the PC cleaner to clear up any crap files that you've got sat on there which are just taking up storage space. Uh, you've got the likes of the Samsung Studio Plus which can be used to couple together quite simple but quite fun little family videos. Good old smart things of course for controlling all of your smart home goodies right here on your handy little laptop screen and that's just scratching the surface of this stuff. Now let's talk performance and the power here is provided by an 11th gen Intel processor with integrated Iris Xe graphics. You've got Core i5 or Core i7 options and my review model sported an i7 1165G7 processor plus 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. And that proved absolutely plenty of power for you know working on a couple of dozen Chrome tabs simultaneously while also streaming music in the background, doing a good bit of video chat and all kinds of multitasking. I didn't see any slowdown the entire time I was using the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. If you love a bit of benchmarking, well Cinebench churned out a score of 701, PC Mark spaffed out a score of 3982 and Geekbench churned out 18471. Creators are more limited by the lack of dedicated graphics but the Iris Xe can handle some photo editing and some light video editing as well. While I had no troubles with gaming as long as I didn't push it, this thing won't play the likes of Doom Eternal so don't even try. And the battery life for this laptop is fantastic as well, further adding to the portability of the Galaxy Book Pro 
360. I found that the battery life drains consistently at around a rate of 10% every 45 minutes. That's with lots of Chrome play with usually a bit of music streaming or video streaming at the same time. So therefore, even with Chrome in play, you're guaranteed around eight hours of full on use from a single charge. So overall, I've got to say, I enjoyed my time with the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. I found it as a great little laptop for taking on the go, nice and light, great long battery life as well, fantastic screen. In fact, you can prop it up in that tent mode for just kicking back with a movie or whatever, it's fantastic. You've got that S Pen support if you are a creator, you can get on with a bit of photo editor, no worries, some light video editing, and a bit of gaming on the sly as well. Of course, you don't get any dedicated graphics, you can't expect the moon on a stick, so if that's going to be an issue, you might want to look at the new Asus Swift X, which I recently featured here on TechSpurt, and I do wish that display went brighter and the visibility was a bit better when using outdoors. Otherwise, if you don't think those are going to be issues for you and you've got the moolah to chuck at Samsung, then definitely give it a go. Anyway, that's what I think. What do you think of the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360? Be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers everyone, love you!